Across the diaspora, Indian communities are observing the official end of the recruitment of Indian indentured laborers. 2017 marks 100 years since the abolition of indentureship. In Trinidad and Tobago, the occasion is being recognized by a three-day global convention, which started on Friday. Speaking at last night's ceremony hosted by the National Council of Indian Culture, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said he looks forward to further strengthening relations between Trinidad and Tobago and India. In times, the struggles of indented workers are viewed as insignificant when compared to the nightmare that was the slave trade. But according to Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, the plight of indented laborers must not be belittled. Hardly better because it was based largely on human relationships and the history would show it was colored and pasted by his, man's inhumanity to man. Dr. Rowley said that despite this struggle, there is good that came out of this horrendous part of history. At the end of 1917, many, I should say most, chose to remain in Trinidad and Tobago. And for that, this nation is eternally grateful. Referring to India as a big sister in a very turbulent world, the Prime Minister said he looks forward to further strengthening ties between both nations. Today, technology allows us to be in touch physically, in hours, and on our laptops, our, tellers, our cell phones, our tablets, virtually instantaneously. So we have no excuse to not strengthen our bond. Last night's event also saw members of parliament from the government of India in attendance, as well as cultural forms of entertainment. From the ancient country, beyond Kalapani, only half the story, but a secret voice was singing that they need you, so we're sending you. Janine Brown, C News.